Here we have Hey Little Ant by Philip and Hannah Hoos. Hey Little Ant down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's gonna squish you flat. Please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. Not sure if you can see the ant, but he's way down there. But you are a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Are you crazy? Me like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. Think about who the two voices in this story are. I'll give you a clue. They're two main characters. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Hey, I'm not a crook kid, read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please, don't make your shoe come down. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me, they're listening too. They all say I should squish you. Mm. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Look who's big in this picture and who's not so big. He said, if you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? And that's where the story ends.